If you're working on an archaeology project, you're going to need a couple implements, right? A couple tools, a couple things to always have with you. One thing you're going to need is a watch. And don't be telling me you got an Apple watch or like a high-end watch that reads all kinds of things. It's plugged in with GPS. You don't need that. You know what you need? You need a watch that ain't gonna break. You need a watch that tells the time. And you need a watch that doesn't need to be plugged in every 48 hours, right? So you want, as you so often do in archeology, span simplicity and ruggedness. And so what kind of watch do I recommend? Boom, boom. Timex Expedition or similar. Why do I recommend the lowly Timex Expedition? Because they cost like 30 bucks. The battery in them lasts years. They are a model of simplicity and they just work. They have the basics that you need and nothing you don't. I can look at it and easily see what time it is. I definitely recommend getting the um, digital watch version. Don't bother with the classic, oh, I want a rugged outsider adventurer looking thing with a bunch of dials and numbers. No, you don't. You just want, I'm a 1980s nerd watch because you can see it. It gives you the time. It gives you the date. There's a stopwatch in here, which you kind of need sometimes out in the jungle, like how long you been out? When should you turn around? This kind of thing, it's important. Um, it has an alarm on it too, so you're sleeping out in your hammock, you have an alarm that you can set that'll wake you up. I know that in the world of the cellular phone and this kind of thing, that a lot, especially a lot of younger people, don't even wear a watch. I'm telling you, man, if you go on an archeological project that has any length of time to it, buy a watch, spend the 30 bucks, get a Timex Expedition. They're a million different colors and shapes and styles. I don't care which one you get. Just get one of these, these basic things. Now mine is super extra special because I added a, uh, like a, like a Zulu band to it. So I'm, I'm trying to look expedition-y with my band, but no big deal. Just just get one of these. They're lightweight. They last forever. You can swim with them. I've taken these things to 120 feet deep scuba diving. Do I recommend that? No. But but it worked, dude. It like it still told the time. So I've just been really impressed with these over the years. They've almost become like my lucky watch in in archaeological uh, moments, right? When I'm when I'm out on an archeological excavation. I, I feel kind of naked without it. Uh, I, I recommend these. Also, there's like G-Shock watches and, and things like that. Those are fine too. Um, I find G-Shock watches just to be physically bigger and heavier. And if you have a skinny feminine wrist like I do, uh, they're, just, they're just too big. And I, I like something just lightweight and simple. So I can't, um, tell you guys enough times that it, it is really important on an archaeological excavation to know something as simple as what time it is and not to just think you have your cell phone because your cell phone will run out of batteries in like 48 hours. Your cell phone cannot take the kind of physical abuse that something like this can. Highly recommend get a watch if you work on an archaeology project.